gonna get to the other side, check out the surf and the beach, see what it's like. But we're struggling to find the trail across. been a little bit shorter than expected because there's this massive rain cloud behind me that we're trying to escape it's really nice over here but i don't think we're going to be able to escape this basically careful there's a some coral here we left all the windows on the boat open so we need to go back and close them otherwise we're going to get a wet bed again Just in time. It's a bad one as well. Yeah. But your chest was getting a bit wet. So we are having to say goodbye to Barbuda today. We're gonna head back down to Antigua. We're gonna head to the northeastern coast that we haven't been to yet because there's apparently some really cool places to explore around there. So we're gonna go to, I think it's, is it called Great Bird Island, Lars? Bird Island, yeah. We're gonna go to Bird Island and Green Island and, uh, and yeah, and then continue back down, uh, making our way down south. So excited for our next stops, but a bit sad to say goodbye to Barbuda because it's so beautiful and we've had such a nice time here and really enjoyed how remote it's been. Just not been that busy at all. We've had every anchorage, we've shared it with maybe a few other boats and that's it. Uh, which has been a bit different to the French islands, which have, in our experience, been pretty busy. So just got the engine on now. We're just gonna lift anchor any second now. Okay, let's do this. bit of a hairy um, exit of the anchorage because there were loads of reefs to kind of dodge on the way out in the channel. We wanted to get the sails up or at least the mainsail up before coming out because the swell was really big when we came out. So we managed to get the sail up like halfway and then brought the last of it up at the very end once we were out in the swell. But I mean bashing into that swell, I don't think I've ever seen so much water come onto the boat. That was crazy just so wild the way you can be so protected and chilled out and in that beautiful turquoise water and then get out here and it's so choppy and so big and you always forget. There were no good options there really. We couldn't really lift it on anchor because it was too shallow. I really didn't want to lift it out here in the swell because <laughs> I mean you saw that wave that broke over the bow that was crazy um, and so we had to do it just in this tight spot between the reefs but we ran out of runway as we were lifting it, so we had to turn away and we got there in the end. Yeah, now we're on course, we're doing six knots, 6.4. Um, it's just so shallow here, it's so weird. Like between Barbuda and Antigua, it doesn't get deeper than like 20 meters. No. So we're in 15 meters right now. You're joking. And that's why the swell is so crazy, because you have this Atlantic swell coming in and then it, <laughs> and then it hits this like shelf 
and uh, that's no why it's, yeah, it's a bit crazy. A little bit seasick. Yeah, the waves are really confused. Getting pushed around like nobody's business. My go-to whenever I'm feeling a bit seasick is making some ginger tea. It doesn't make my seasickness go away completely, but it definitely helps with the nausea. Also, lying down always seems to help. Wow, it's really heavy rain ahead. Oh, really? Yeah. Ahead as well? Yeah. Anything I should do? No, not really. We're gonna... I think what we'll do is we'll sail to sort of like in front of the entrance and then maybe just hove to until the rain passes Yeah. and then do it once the rain has passed. I don't really want to be going through during a squall and rain. So it's just started to rain as soon as we're getting close to the entrance. Um, wet. Yeah, there's a really tight entrance between, between a couple of reefs to get in behind into the lagoon. And it's exposed to the Atlantic swell, it's called Bird Island Channel. To be honest, even without any wind or swell or waves or anything, I'd be, you know, really paying attention going through there. And right now I can't even see it. It's covered in the rain and it's pretty windy. So I think we're just gonna wait for this weather to pass before we try and get through. We're, we're here and we're coming down. We wanna go and anchor up in here eventually. And we're gonna pass through this little channel here. And so we're gonna have to come in and thread our way in through here. And there's a rock there right in the middle. These reefs, these are green reefs on both sides. And here it's too shallow to get through with as well. So we gotta go in like that. And that's only about a hundred meters across. So it's not huge, um, but The rain's passed and I'm just mid sits now. Gonna try and look out for any reefs and rocks and stuff for Lars, who's at the helm. And we're gonna attempt getting into the channel. It's not the greatest conditions, but yeah. Just dodge this reef here. Now we're dodging another one over here. And then we're gonna go around like that. This isn't ideal conditions at all. I'm kind of on edge because, like, sorry. Wow. There's brown water up ahead as well. Big reef over there as well. What's your depth? Jeez. Okay, nice. Woo. Lars has been adamant about sailing in, but been a bit nerve-wracking but I think we're past the worst of it unless we get unlucky now but we're in 14 meters again so and you can see we're entering this lagoon now so you've got islands all the way over there and then Antigua mainland I think we're gonna go anchor up over there once we get past all this I'm not sure if you can see it but the brown water here is just rocks oh yeah you can see that it's kind of sticking out of the water Lazarus just said he, it feels like we're in Sweden again with all the little islands and kind of getting through the archipelago. The weather today just makes me think of the, the day we left Antibes Marina. Really? Yeah, because we're wearing our jackets and everything and we haven't worn our jackets for a really long time. timed itself pretty well. It was pretty bad when we were out there and then it stopped just now as we were coming through. You can see another big squall warming out there so we got a bit lucky.
We were so glad we made the effort to come into this pass because when the weather cleared up, we found ourselves in the most beautiful anchorage. We're loving this feeling of being anchored behind a barrier reef like this. It's always still as a lake, no matter the weather, but the open ocean is still right there. You can kind of make out the passage here. It's so much easier to see the reefs and rocks below the surface when the weather is clear. In fact, the best time for coming through a pass like this is a midday sun with blue skies. Snack from Gibraltar. Eating in Antigua. Provisioning there. And by the way, we've uh, left and we're moving on to the next anchorage now. Heading to Green Island. What are you doing, Lars? I'm inspecting the rice crackers for maggots. These all look okay. Some of them had uh, little weevil, weevil babies in there. And an actual maggot. Yeah. The site of Antigua was quite a lot busier than it had been in Barbuda. We found ourselves a nice spot to anchor and then decided to go for a dip and a swim ashore before nightfall. That's fun, huh? Yeah. Swim in with our flippy floppies. And a towel. And a couple of beers. Navica's just over there. Look what we stumbled upon. Cheers! <laughs> I'm just saying, just enjoying the sunset here, but we're just saying that we're gonna have to come, we're gonna have to swim back after this. And yeah. it's probably gonna be dark. And we're cold. Ah. It feels really beautiful and romantic now. The sun's going down, it's warm, we've got a beer, great. And then the sun's going to disappear below the horizon and we're going to be like... So... <laughs> what are we doing here? No, it's really nice. Chef Lars in the kitchen again. Chicken ass. Yeah, yeah, this time we got nachos, baby. <laughs> I don't know what that smell is, but it's really nice. Smell of victory, Alex. <laughs> Coming into English Harbor for our checkout and maybe a final little lunch. Drop off some bins before heading down to Woodland maybe this evening. This was our first time coming into English Harbor. English Harbor and neighboring Falmouth Harbor are kind of a big deal in sailing and yachting. The boats here are on a completely different level. I can't imagine how much money you would need to own and run boats of this size. English Harbour is best known for Nelson's Dockyard, which used to be the base for the British Navy in the 18th and 19th centuries. Hence the history of sailing here, which has been continued until today. Customs and immigration, Check. well, cleared out. Cleared out, yeah. Only 45 US, which was a total surprise. <laughs> I mean, as in that we had to pay it all. It's kind of weird, like, why do you have to pay to leave? So true. We were just walking down the street and then I just got pooped on by a bird on my leg. <laughs> so gross. Oh no. Oh man, that is such bad luck. It was oh. a lot as well, wasn't it? It's meant to be good luck, actually. No. Really? Yeah. You're going to have good luck now for... I don't feel very clean. Well, no, no. Not surprised. So we're in our home away from home in the January. 
And we don't really have anything specific, although I need some sandpaper and some brushes. Now we're just going to go for a stroll and see if we can spend some money. So we came to this spot up, up with the view. Yeah, it's really cool. There's a nice breeze. Just a view over it. This is Falmouth Harbour. So you can see all the big, enormous super yachts anchored up in here, or moored up in here. But we walked over from English Harbour on the other side. Our sourdough starter has gone insane. It's just exploded through the cabin. Look at all of that. <laughs> Maybe we need a bigger jar for it. No, I think we just neglected it for too long and now it's like... Now it's like so happy. So we're just in English Harbour after having had a really good day and really good lunch out here. We'd love to stay, but we've got to go because the wind is shifting. It's going to come from the southeast, and so to get back to Guadeloupe is going to be really difficult if we don't leave tonight. Leaving at night or leaving in the evening isn't ideal because we're going to get in at night too, but we've already left it a bit late by staying here today. Uh, but we had to check out and things, so there you go. Yeah, we're just getting ready to go now. It's just coming up to six o'clock, um, and it's Thursday, so every Thursday, I think it's Thursday and Sunday, they have um, the Charlene Heights barbecue on and you can hear it here from the anchorage. It sounds really fun and kind of sad that we're not staying for another round of steel drums and fish burgers. <laughs> but anyway, this is our last night in Antigua. It's been really fun. It's been really, really cool. So yeah, but anyway, time for uh, some new adventures. Onwards and upwards. Hey, baguette. I think I've eaten too much of that stuff to be honest. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> Cheese, butter, all the good stuff. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to not miss our next videos. Join us next time as we sail to Guadeloupe, have some friends come visit, and we go chasing some waterfalls.